today we're going to be talking about what is a demand schedule. Let's say, take it uh, as an example. Today we're going to be talking about what is a demand schedule. Let's think of an example. I love Starbucks coffee. So let's take a look at how we would apply that love or that desire to consume that product for Starbucks coffee. What we're going to do is we're going to look at it in the form of two variables, price and quantity. Let's say the price of a cup of Starbucks of coffee is $1. If I, if I had money in my wallet, and how much coffee would I buy if there was a price tag of $1 a cup of coffee? During the day, I'd probably have five cups of coffee. For if the price changed, then I would consume four cups of coffee. If the price would still increase, I would consume less coffee. And the price would still further increase, the $5, I'd be down to one cup of coffee a day. This is a demand schedule. And you will notice it does follow the law of demand. Which is, as price increases, quantity demanded decreases. And you can see that reflective in the demand schedule. You can also graph a demand schedule. As the price is $5, I would want one cup of coffee, quantity, Quantity is always on the horizontal axis. Price is always on the vertical axis. If the price drops to $4, I'm going to want two cups of coffee. Three and three. Two and four and one and five. So here is my demand curve for my desire for Starbucks coffee.